This video, I kind of want to focus on my fiance Civic. I put an Android head unit in it. It's a great unit, but there's been a couple issues with it. Uh, the biggest one for us is I find when I signal right, it actually shows a video I'll put when we don't have the model that has the side mirror lights. So I'm gonna check the wiring on the reverse camera, see if it's that, but it doesn't make sense because the reverse camera, which we do have installed right there, uh, it works when you want to reverse. So I don't know what that's about. Uh, we also got a replacement uh, bezel or frame for it. The seller did send us that, so I am gonna swap that out. But I just wanna go through, see why it's doing that. Um, another thing is I got the tires that came with my STI, those right there. Uh, I believe they're all seasons. They got snowflakes on them, but they are no good for winter in my honest opinion. So I'm just letting her use it for the summer because her summer tires are pretty shot. Uh, plus her summer tires were plastic hubcaps, which look poopy and she'll have some nice alloys. So why not throw them on? I didn't think about doing this earlier with the Legacy is I printed hub centric rings. I found a file of someone made of these and I printed it. Otherwise I would have just take measurements and made it myself, but they were already there. So I printed them. Uh, I did make them with ABS and I think I did uh, six sidewalls. So that way it was a complete circle going throughout the entire thing. So realistically, this is a solid piece of plastic. I can bend it a little bit, but it should hold up. In the future, if I ever need hub centric rings, I can easily print them. I'm hyped about that. I'm gonna put one on. She's gonna do the rest because she knows how to do it and she's getting shit on by a four year old. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna let her do that. So I'll put the first one on, show her that and remind her how to do it just so she remembers and the rest is up to her. Don't ruin that, that's still for my winter. Okay. I think it'll fit, but it's snug. I think that means it doesn't fit, guys. It's just ghetto, man. This is, like, come on. <laughs> this is, like, yeah, this doesn't seem very up to safety like, code. I mean, like, it, it works. It works. So originally I tried to, like, bevel the inside and get it, like, like, beveled, like, with this. And it was working, but I couldn't still get it on. It was just slightly too, uh, Stiff. I mean, look, it's on. Like, <laughs> um, I think personally, it's fine how that is. I mean, when I put the wheel on, it's pretty snug. Like already, it's not moving. Oh. oh, is that not gonna work? Are my nuts not gonna work? Your nuts, man. My nuts. Super lug nuts are not the same as Honda. Apparently, it doesn't fit. And she has these uh, acorn nuts to hold her stupid plastic cover for her wheels. I think they're hideous and What's they're just it? hideous. I don't care. <laughs> but you could remove the plastic off of it. So that's what we're going to do. Damn, boy. And these are easy. We'll just save these for winter time. Yeah, I'll need the winter. Yeah, we'll just. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, we could still use your, your lock, your nut lock, which I think are pointless, but she wants to use it. Ready for the drop? Sheesh. Yeah, you're good. You fail. I don't need that. Yes, you need it. I think this car would look silly with that. <clears throat> but even I no fail. No offense to anybody who has that, but I, I feel like my car would look silly. The legacy fails too, so it's okay. That looks oh, so much you, you like this one? <laughs> you Stop like this on. one? Look at that. Ew, what is that? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Oh, he's making a noise. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, we're scaring him. Well, homeboy has to move. So, what do you think? Looks nice. Looks nice. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. So, you know the rule? The rule? If you curve them, you buy them. Okay, but that doesn't make sense because he claims this is going to be his daily <coughs> when we move out. So I don't see how that 
coincides, mm. you know, since my car. Mm. Yeah, so I'm hoping once we move out, I can take the Civic, that could be my daily. And then if she needs to get around, she can learn manual and she can use the Legacy or the STI if she has the balls to. Screw, if you're leaving me with the only options, I might as well take the STI <coughs> and show yeah. up on you and be like, yep, yep, I point. took your STI. Hmm. Yeah, so um, I figured we could take it for a quick drive just so she can see how it feels like. I think it's gonna feel fine. Oh, uh, I can drive, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. What do you want? No. Okay. And then I want to show you guys the issue with the right right turn signal. Yes. Yeah, right. the right turn signal. The right turn signal. All right, let me show you. What? My front end feels higher, like the... The front feels higher. <coughs> I see, I don't know how to explain it. I think you're being dramatic. No, like I feel like I feel more, uh, see more of what the do you thing. Feel like a monster truck? Watch is out. Oh, the neighborhood watch is out. He's in PJs. Yeah, you can leave. Hi. He didn't look. I don't know. <laughs> okay, it feels fine. Here's the signal. Uh, that's what it looks like. Yeah, so she's signaling right. It says no video. But then as soon as she stops signaling, it's back it to normal. Normal. So you're happy? Yeah, feels fine. Thank you. No problem. Remember. No, it's my, it's, it's my car, so I curb them. I, okay, I'll pay, okay. If I curb them, I'll pay you, Four. pay you, but then this is my car. You don't get to daily it. You have to daily your legacy. She curbs them, she buys them. <laughs> All right, so it's my job now to go through this car, uh, swap out the bezel. So I do have a replacement bezel, swap that out. That should be pretty easy. But my biggest concern is the wiring. I want to double check the wiring for the reverse camera. There's mosquitoes like crazy today. Uh, double check the reverse camera wiring. Make sure that is perfect and how it's supposed to be. I might have done something wrong. There's a good chance I did. So double check that and uh, see if that fixes whatever's going on. Because I don't know. I don't know why it's doing it. Another issue apparently people have been having is the small mini display screen uh, up here. For some reason it's black. I don't know the issue to that. I don't know why. Um, another thing is the controls on the steering wheel for your phone. I don't know how to make those work. I reached out. I didn't get it working. Someone said you can get a module. So if anyone knows that module and a link to it or a how-to or whatever, let me know and I'll happily buy it and do a video showing how to install it and make it working. Currently, as of right now, I have no idea. Or if someone knows, just comment it below. I'll, I'll favorite the comment and make it so other people could see it to help other people that watch this video. All right, so let me pull this radio out. Disconnect the battery. Make sure you disconnect it. And uh, let me see what's just going on. I'm going to tear this car apart, so be right back. Well, the battery died. The old bezel is right here. You can tell it's the old one because it's all scratched up from shipping. And it was like melted there. I don't know, just got beaten up during shipping. I have a plan for this and I will show you probably in another video if it works out. And the issue is this has to do with the steering wheel controls. Now, I don't know exactly what does what, but it has to do with the steering wheel controls. When I disconnect this, it works, there's no problem. But as soon as I connect it again, the signal thing happens, but then I lose steering wheel control. So I, I, I don't know now, now I'm stumped. Let me look at this for a bit and see if I can figure anything out because at this point, I think I need a new harness. I'm back. It's been honestly, I don't know, a month. <laughs> Since I've been gone, I've been trying to get in contact with the seller that sold the radio to me from AliExpress for my girlfriend Civic. And honestly, it's been like little to no luck. Uh, I've gotten nowhere. So my plan of action, the last time I recorded, I believe that I removed one of the connectors and it stopped doing the signal thing. My thought process is if I can't just simply disable the feature where when I signal right and it waits for a signal from a video output on the right mirror, next best thing is just to disconnect the wire that's going into it. I'm gonna remove the head unit, look for that wire, keep unplugging the wires until I figure out which one it is. But this weekend it was Potato Fest in Alston, so I've spent quite a bit of money there. It's been fun though. Uh, one of the things that I tried for the first time was some butterfly chips. Pretty good, it's not bad. It's like, it's kind of like kettle chips. I don't really know how to describe it. But it's just like, I guess like potato chips, kind of like Miss Vicky's. It's good. The main thing I go after though, oh baby, the churros. I love the churros. I went there last year, I, I swear I spent like 30 bucks in churros. 
So we got a jerk chicken poutine. That was really good. We got that twice. And then we got a jerk chicken Alfredo pasta. Wasn't bad. The one thing I really wanted to try, but I didn't get to try, is there was a mango uh, shrimp. I think that was done in a coconut batter. Could be wrong in the coconut, but it was really, it looked good. It sounded good. Didn't get to try it though. Hopefully next year. Uh, but churros, you can't go wrong. Enough of the food review. Let me get this radio out. Alrighty, guys. We're down butterfly chips and we're down one and a half churros. Oh, you told okay. him about I've been, I gave him a little food review. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So I took the radio out. I pulled the connection. It was like a five wire connector, a pretty tiny one. Uh, it was one of the green wires, depinned it. And it did indeed stop the signal issue where when I signaled right, it would wait for a video input to show on the screen. I don't know why anyone would want that. Just personally, I think it's distracting. I'd rather have the ability to see what my screen is all the time. As well as in this car, you have the little screen next to your like speedometer. So I don't know why that just wouldn't be the video input. Uh, but the issue is when I pulled that wire, it would disable my steering wheel controls at the same time. So I just threw the radio back together, called it a day. But if I show you guys real quick, we'll listen to some Billy. So if I signal right, as you can see, signaling, there's no change. Signal left, no change. We can listen to some Billy. I could change the volume. We could still go to another song. Perfect. Uh, I actually updated the unit, so it's a little bit different now. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, how I changed this, basically I went into settings. I think it was system, no it was factory. So then you gotta enter the code, it's one to six. Confirm. And then right here, select models. This is what I have entered. If you can see that, simple, soft, Honda, 2012 Civic and public. Uh, before, I forget what it was before, but basically whatever it was, I got rid of it, did something different. It was different. 2014, 2014 Honda or something. I got rid of it. I'm assuming maybe the, the newer models has the camera and it thought this was a newer model. I don't know. But I then downgraded it to the 2012. Yeah, you get downgraded, babe. And uh, it's running fine now. So if I go home and I signal, it doesn't do it. These buttons do not work. I have yet to figure out a way to yeah, make these buttons work. True, that would be a complaint. Those don't work. Yeah, those so don't work. Calling is a bit more of a pain in the butt. Um, so I never figured out that. Again, asked the seller, had no luck. If anyone has an idea of what to do for that, let me know. I'm open ears. I will literally have, if you guys tell me how to do that, send me a link, explain it, whatever. I will happily make a video just on that so you guys know because the Honda thing is the best video on the channel, so obviously you guys like it, so I am happy to make a video and help you guys. So just let me know. That's if you know how to make it work. That's that's it. But I think that's it. I'm happy to see it's working. I no longer have to hear her radio is broken and it's my fault. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I love it. I want it in my Legacy. I want it in my STI. We'll see. Uh, my dad wants it in his Forester. I know that. Yep. So we'll see. If you want to see it done in more cars, let me know. I'll happily do it. Okay, I'm gonna go probably in, watch The Witcher. We're playing it some Nintendo Switch, something, one of them. Uh, but that will be it, guys. If you guys enjoy the video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs>